Hi everybody, it's Lisa's Crafty Passion coming to you with a tutorial. So in the last video, I showed you guys this flip book. Um, and this is the one that flips like this, like this, like this. It's the flip, flip, flip. Um, so I came up with um, a mini version of that, which is that. But before we go there, I wanted to tell you what the dimensions of this is. Um, you can watch the tutorial if you like, the one I followed, or you can just follow this because it's pretty much the same. So for this size, if you want to make this size, it's um, eight and a half inches tall and you're going to need three. Well, she says to start with two eight, uh, three eight and a half and elevens, but if you don't have eight and a half and eleven, you have twelve and twelve. I mean, just use what you have. The most important thing is the base of it should be some sort of heavy cardstock. As as you can tell, this is just paper. That's because this is my sample. Um, I tend to make samples of things that I really like, things that I want to make again. So this this consists of three sheets of three different um, cuts. Um, so the first one you're going to cut, so the first one's 8 and a half, 11. The second one is also 8 and a half and 11. And the third one is 5 and 3 quarters by 8 and a half. So, and then the way you're going to score it, and, and I'll show you the real, uh, the way, that, how it looks, is on the first one, we're going to call it A. You're going to score it at 4 inch and 5 inch on the wide side. So on, on this side, not the tall side, but on the wide side. And then on the second one, you're going to score it one inch, two inch, eight inch, and eight and a half inch, again on the wider side. And on the third piece, which is five and three quarter and eight and a half, um, there's no score involved. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have, so this is your A piece. So by itself, this is eight and a half by 11. So if we just look at that piece by itself, and there's a four inch score and a five inch score. And then there's the B piece, which is which has a one inch score, the two inch score, the eight and eight and a half. This this half an inch you need um, is the gusset part to make to make it flip. So you simply take the B piece and you attach it to the end. So here's the back of it. This is my B piece. I should have made it different colors, but you attach this to this. See, and then the C piece is is the piece that's by itself. That's five and three quarters by eight and a half, and you attach that to the edge right where you scored the eight and a half. That's where it needs to go. It's okay if there's a little bit access because um, you're going to cover all of this with whatever designer scrapbook paper you want. So at the end of it, it folds out. And then we're going to show you how it flips in. So once you um, do, you know, you attach everything, you flip, you flip. So this becomes the front. So let me do a side by side. You can get a wider shot. Um, so this is the front part. And um, I recommend you put your ribbon. So when you have your cardstock or whatever you're going to use for the outside part, your chipboard, I recommend you put the ribbon on, like for example, if this is what you're going to use, put the ribbon on and then put your scrapbook paper on top of it. That way it looks like that, nice and clean. So basically you flip it open. This is the raw part, the raw one I would say. And then the other one I'm going to show you how to do a waterfall. Um, so you could just w decorate it however you like. Um, lastly, this this last part, again, I'll, I'll link the tutorial because um, I think she does a better job of explaining this part. Okay, so this part on the last page, we'll say, where you attach the C piece, um, I created a little notebook. And you basically take uh, scrapbook paper and I should have measured this. Um, you, paper should be about 11 inches by, I didn't want to make it the whole length, so about seven and a half inches. So 11 inches by seven and a half inches is this sheet right here. 
or actually no, it's it's uh, ten and a half. I'm sorry, ten and a half by seven and a half. And then you just fold it in half. You put two holes, and you also put the holes on this part right here. And that becomes this ribbon part outside. It's really pretty. And then the rest of it, and like I said, you can decorate it however you want it. So, hope that helps. Rewind it and watch the measurements if that will help you. I had to kind of watch it a few times just so that I understood. So what I'm going to show you now, next actually, is the mini version of this. And mini, basically, I, I kind of, I shrunk it, see? This is the regular version. And then this is the mini version. So I'll give you the dimensions for this because it doesn't exist anywhere else. Only here at Lisa's Crafty Passion. Subscribe if you haven't already. So this is the little one. And I gave you a little preview of the little tiny mini book attached to the flip book. And I just put some flowers here just to kind of make it pretty. This is tool. And I used it to just close it because I wanted to take away I didn't want to take away from the prettiness of it. In the front I have a shaker. Shake, shake, shake. And then this is a uh, similar layout. I just decorated it a little bit different. This is a paper pad that I got from Michaels. And I, st I have the same book arrangement back here. So I'm uh, sorry, going, let's, let's go through it. This is the waterfall section. Again, you can create these waterfalls any any section of your pages. So I have this three. If you want to create the waterfall, I'm going to show you the instructions right now, the measurements, I should say. This one I created like some little pockets on my Cricut. These ones come out, and this one comes out too, but I think, oh yeah, here we go. There's some library pockets, and then this is an Anna Griffin die. And on this one, I, I did keep the same theme as the other one where I have the little notebook. So the notebook, what is that sound? Oh, it's the ice in the water. Sorry, we heard some sound. I made a flat flower. You can't really embellish that much on the, on the inside of this because it doesn't have a, a thick um, thickness to it. So I, I kept it kind of simple with these flat flowers that I, I, I cut from my Cricut. But this hides the... The Velcro strap. I thought that was kind of neat. And again, it's the same concept of the paper. If you want to do this paper, I didn't measure it. This one is cut um, about nine and a quarter and five and three quarters. And so I just randomly cut papers that would match and then I border punched some of them. So you can do as many as you want. Um, I wouldn't do too much, as, like I said, because you don't want too much of a thickness. And then the back of it is another pocket. So if you flip over and there's a pocket here. That goes inside. This is a handmade bow. And then I haven't really done anything to that page. I kind of wanted to keep it simple. And that's the back of it. So if you want to make this mini version, let's look at the instructions. This one I didn't attach, so this will kind of give you an idea. So this one you need um, three cutouts. You need to cut a 5x6, an 11x6, and a 9x6. So take a screenshot. We'll give you a second. Okay, maybe more than a second. Um, and then I'll show you again, you're going to score at the, for the five in five by six, there's no score for the 11 by six. You score at one, two, seven and seven and a half. And for the nine by six, you score at three and four. And notice again, you're going to, um, you're scoring it on a wider, the, the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, horizontal. Okay. So that's the waterfall. So these are the three pages. The other one I showed you, my sample is attached. So this is this is basically the same thing. It's just a mini version. So the A piece is the nine by six again. You're scoring at three and four. I made these lines just to show you where they score. You don't need to make those lines, obviously. But for me, I'm a very visual person and I like to see. 
And then the second one is the 11 by 6. I've got glue stuff. And you score at 1, 2 inches, I should say, 7 inches, and 7 and a half. And then last but not least, this is your the one that's by itself, 5 by 6. You don't need to do anything to it. So the way you attach these, you attach this part of it. The one inch part goes here. Let me, just for the sake of you seeing how it's actually going to look. And I wouldn't, do not use hot glue for these mini books. You will regret it. Use some type of um, score tape or liquid glue whatever you want but don't use hot glue because it's going to add to the to the length of it okay so that we got our a and b piece attached now we have the five six piece i know it's extra here and you can cut it down but you know what just add it for stability it's not going to hurt you and then you do that let's do another one here so see that's going right on that score line the c piece so then what you have left is flip flip and flip and this is how it should look so you put a decorative paper you can decorate the spine um, it would look nicer if you do and then I added my mini book and you can look at the other video for a tutorial and look through now to create the waterfall so if you would like to create the waterfall which is this part right here you're gonna need three pieces cut out four at six eighths by four and six eighths. So it's basically a four and six eighths square. And then it really doesn't matter because it's a square. You just pick a side and score an inch and fold it back. And you're gonna need three of these, three of these for the waterfall. So what you do is when you put the scrapbook paper down, so you can do the waterfall here, it'll fit here. You can do the waterfall here. It all depends on you. I mean, there's no hard and fast rules. So, so let's say I'm gonna do my waterfall here. Three of these are gonna be lined up against each other. So I had two of them, but they, they tore. So let's say this was my other waterfall, just for example. We'll do the pretty side. So the first one's gonna go here. You don't have to go close to the top edge. You can go down a little bit, and then the second waterfall is gonna is gonna go right up to it. So you want the the folded edge down. Okay, so hope that makes sense. So you want one, two, and then the third one you line up the same. So you'll end up having a waterfall. So it'll be like like three of these, and then you can decorate the corners and you can put a border. I mean, just you know, go to town, go crazy. This is just the basic structure of it. And they're really, really fun to make. Um, I've been making these for several years now, and I really enjoy it. I like both sizes. So feel free to make them. Um, if you have any questions on anything, let me know. Um, I, like I said, I'm a visual person, and I try to make it as simple for you as I could because I didn't want to. I don't want to have you watch the video a couple of times as I did. So thank you for subscribing and liking the video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye, everybody. God bless.